And I'm back. With greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Chrono Trigger. Sorry, a little out of the loop. <laughs> so we're back at 65 million BC. He spared our lives, true enough, but something is amiss. They take Lavos power, and Lavos get weak. I don't know why I chose that accent. Have we not seen that in other ages? Or you could have let me guess, you know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> By the way, we've never actually been there, so I don't even know what they were talking about. But if we go back to 20... 20. Well, 2300 BC, I guess. We're about to get an awesome accessory. That doesn't really become, like, majorly useful until a bit later in the game. Like, once you start getting, like, your ultimate techs, like, um, Frog Squash, Triple Kick, and Luminaire, like, that's when this, um, accessory will start becoming pretty useful. Until then, now it's just mildly useful. In fact, uh, one second, let me check one a little, really. Not for a while, but I just noticed something that would have got us killed. Um, because we lost in that fight, we all just had one HP. That, that would have been pretty bad. So did anyone else have a pretty good weekend? Like, my weekend was actually pretty sweet. I, I listened to, um... Every single Megadeth song that they um, put out, <laughs> put out. No, but seriously, I listened to all of their uh, songs. It was actually a um, really great way to spend the weekend. And I was playing uh, Dragon Warrior for the uh, NES the entire time. Uh, I gotta say, I haven't had a weekend that good in a while. Oh, and also this weekend, I learned to finally start appreciating uh, Final Fantasy VI, which is like the only one, the only one in the series that I hated besides, um, besides eight. I really should give eight another chance. I really should. I wonder what the f uh, this guy has to say. Ah! Ah, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move freely through time. The Wings of Time, he called it. Oh, I see. If I put them down here, they'll be easier to read. Cool. Alright, safe state spoiled me, because now I'm thinking about, uh... Because now I'm thinking I can just, like, shut it off right now. And just press F5. I knew I shouldn't have got used to save states. Thanks a bunch, Microx. It's all your fault. No, I really shouldn't blame him. By the way, I didn't shoot. I didn't get those uh, system ROMs by myself. Oh, son of a. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to do a little backtracking, so I'm going to, um, pause the video for right now. I'll be back in a sec. I remember when Site 16 was tough, when it was an optional dungeon. Oh my god, please tell me I- Oh my god, I could have just went through that gate. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my god, now I feel like a moron. Like a flaming idiot. <sighs> I can't. Uh. At least I don't have to go through Site 16 again. That was just annoying. Better things I could do with my time. All right, here's the golden stud. It makes it so we only need a quarter of the MP we uh, usually use to um, cast the spell. Alright, it's gonna slow down Comic a bit, but we're gonna give him the... Wait. We're gonna give him the, uh, Golden Stud. Or are we? Yeah, no. No, no, we're gonna give it to, uh, Soma. 
Mostly because I don't think we're going to be using a chrono in the next few. No, wait. One second. I'm being stupid in this episode. I'm sorry. Anyway, let, let's just, uh. Magic capsule. Let's just give it to chrono. And Soma has higher things than chrono. That's pretty cool. So let's use the Innertron! HP and MP restored! But we're just as hungry as before. Oh my god, please just... A plant, you say? A plant? I am not doing too well in this episode. Final Fantasy VI, you've been spoiling me! Hate Sight 16. I hate Sight 16. Let's go back to 2. Yeah, let's do that. Stupid Sight 16. You know, I'm gonna, like, make a save file on Chrono Trigger and, like, hack it on an emulator and blow up Sight 16. Like, j just to show them how much I hate Sight 16. And even though I just did this to get back there, it's pointless as all get out. Uh, we're gonna have to race uh, Johnny again to get back to um almost site 16. Now, if this was Hangar 18, I'd be okay because that's an awesome song. And uh, it's apparently a military place, actually. I don't know. I'm just going with the uh, the whole rattlehead route. See, if I can get exactly 777 points here, I win a few mid-ethers. Always save your boosts. Bro, bro, he's so fast, he came in dead last. I don't really know if you could say dead last, because there are only, like, two racers. Alright, so here's a dungeon we could have done earlier in the game. But I didn't. Because, really, there was no point. We're just going to have to go through it again. So I figured I might as well get out of the way while it's easy. I mean, it was pretty easy back then, too, but now it's just, like, super duper easy. In fact, if you're strong enough, there's like a mini boss in here that you can like one shot. As long as you can deal 500 damage, you can one shot the mini boss in here. I love that bass line. A challenge for all you bassists. Please make a cover of that for me. I would love you forever. I don't even know who you are, but I would go to your house and propose to you. But you gotta be a bassist and you gotta do it right. And they have to get an opera singer to sing that. <laughs> there was a bridge here, I saw it, I swear, ribbit, ribbit. There's nothing here at all, ribbit. Someone's coming, let's scram, Ribbit. You're right for stereotypical frog speak. And the frog's really going. And that. Even though Soma. And then Arv talks. Now, if we touch anything noisy, we have to fight. So let's not touch anything noisy. We can't pet that cute kitty. We can't knock that can into that... I think it's a toaster. Huh. I think that's cheese. And we can't use that save point. It makes a ring noise and it doesn't even work. Now, if this is the first time we were going through here, I would have hit all those uh, to get all the experience possible. 
Oh, we're, we're strong enough. We don't... We don't need that. It's pointless. It's just wasting our lives. They're just tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> I haven't even seen that. I, I'm just going by what people are saying on YouTube. And, uh, Game of AQs. And Crowbar Productions' latest poop. Payback's all right, big Jeff, throw the switch. God, I love Megadeth. I are a Megadeth fan. Looks like you just had to press the switch and the Brenda will extend across. The Brenda will extend across. Hooray for me and my failing of... You're a frog, you can jump. And you call yourself a frog. That chest in there has got a thunder blade. I think we also picked one up in the derelict factory. Rage band. Alright, here's the mini boss. There's three of them and they're almost here. Waltzing through the sewers like they own the place. They must have a death wish. We'll teach them a little respect. Yes, we will. Hee hee hee. Just on a come through here. We chop the door, poke our eyes, and won't even know what's gone when we're done. Hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee. Cool. I love to say that. I did that at a pep rally one time. Oh, mass shoot a goo. And that only took one MP. Hey, I'm, I'm finally going to learn how much TP this guy gives. I never figured that out because I always uh, do it early. Hmm, five. Pretty stereotypical for, uh, Enemy with 500 HP. There's a lot of them. Let's check this out. Lightning 2 only takes 5 in uh, 2 MP. Why did I say 5? Oh, yeah, it's because there's like a 53. Which also means that the best spell in the game, Luminaire, will only do, will only need like 5 MP to do. You can, at max MP, you can fire off like 19. Which makes the final boss cake. And not the band. Mostly because I've never heard of the, well, I know, I've heard of the band, I've just never heard their works. Now this is Death Peak, but we cl can't climb it till later. We'll learn why. Later, because I'm too lazy to show you. Look, a new! Ah! Please do not disturb my slumber. Ah. Go in here. Hmm? You who have opened the door, I am Balthasar, the guru of reason and formerly of the kingdom of zeal. I was cast in its error by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I've learned that Lavos is not a crude product of our age. Far from it. Ah, uh, we already know that. Lavos' form was revealed briefly when it was summoned, mighty, summoned forth by the mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. And that was taking place over Death Peak. His miniature spawn. Parasite. I want to give him a hug. Trapped here, I continue to endeavor. I endeavor to continue my study. Maintaining one's sanity is endeavor and of itself in an age of this. So, if before my mind is lost forever, I've decided to leave these behind. I have a day long to return home, and toil endlessly in the search for way. I've grown old and frail. Take hold of the reins of time. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hand. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you. My last and greatest work, the wings of time. And we will discover what the wings of time are in the next episode. And don't, don't be sad. I don't normally upload things on Sundays. Alright, so, uh, if you liked what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. Alright, thank you and have a nice day.